Okie dokie. Let's try something a little bit different. Because yesterday I was kind of rushing a little bit and I was editing the video whilst I was doing this talking part. So today I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start with a blue pen because I think that can be quite fun. Do some kind of drawing, maybe add a bit of black afterwards, see what it looks like and maybe add something else. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, by the way, the blue pen is a Stabilo 0.88 Fine 0 0.4. Can you see that? Maybe. Can you focus? You got to do that to it. It does work. It's annoying that that works. Maybe I'll do it that way. Anyway, point being, I'm going to do a little bit of a different drawing today. Don't know if it's going to be abstract and if it's going to be figurative. I don't know what I'm drawing yet, but it's going to be starting off with black. Now, yesterday in the video, I did say I'm going to be doing black on white drawings for Inktober. But as soon as the video was done and edited and being uploaded, I was thinking I've got, you know, several boxes of coloured pencil, coloured pen, sorry. It's Inktober, it's not black Inktober, so why not? I don't know, I don't know. So this may be an underdrawing pen, but the point being, I'm, I'm going to start drawing. That's the point. Great point. Great point you've made there. So this is how I start. This comes here. And get the camera. Take off the lens cap. Okay. So, what to do? What to draw? Let me think. From imagination, I think I should. There are a couple of things that I need to draw. Maybe I should do one of those. One of the things I need to draw is uh, CD covers. And I've done one. I've done one. And I was thinking about doing the other two in colored ink. So this could be the opportunity that I need. It means that this is probably going to be an abstract, but forgive me. This part two is going to be, not part two, installment number two for Inktober 2023 is going to be an abstract drawing. Okay. Okay. So, it's going to be like this. It's going to go... talk by the way um because i've not got really a plan for what's going to happen with this i'm basically trying to wing it whilst drawing to hope that it will make sense and add up so i may make mistakes and have to hide them but that's fine that happens 
so far I'm liking what I'm doing and since it's an abstract it can keep becoming this strange I'm going to try to continually add to in order to make it look like something else even though I don't really know what that something else is so what I can do here is maybe add something in the foreground which is going to be this and this is going to have these shapes. Well, the only thing is when you're improvising like I'm doing here you don't know where things are going because you're trying to keep it abstract but you know that there is representational form in this abstraction a little bit nervous about how exactly to pull this off just hoping that something will make sense at some point. Part of me thinks there is no original for someone to compare stuff to, so it shouldn't really concern me, but the other part of me thinks it should still look appealing even if that's no origin for the for the piece if this is the origin it should still have its own reality that what I'm trying to create at the moment and it's tricky but just keep adding things to it in there hoping for the best when I make a mistake I'll just hide it by doing something else Kind of monotonous, especially when I've made a mistake like this, but I'll just stick with it, try to justify it if I can. OK, 
Okay, it could be worse, but it could also be better. The CDs that I've made, there's three of them. So I'm trying to have some kind of through line for all three designs, even though they don't have to be exactly the same in any way. They can uh, they can divert from each other quite naturally. I think by the looks of it, that's what it's going to do. Um, just put in shapes. Sometimes you just get to put in shapes. It'll look like something even if it's not something. And the theme is in my head, but it's not going to be obvious to anyone else. The perspective is going to be off, but it's going to be a bit of a mixture of concepts. So. I don't think that's going to make anything look wrong necessarily. So just continue until I get stuck. And then when I get stuck, I'll reassess. For now, not too bad. Manageable. It's all quite strange, but that's fine. That's uh, part of the. Uh, it's part of the original idea. Really, is this strange kind of you can't really identify what it is you're looking at. So kind of use that as an excuse to make things a little bit loose and try to just feel a bit of freedom if I can. And that's where I'm up to. Eesh. Not perfect, but what is, eh? Anything? Who knows? I must admit, there's no, it's almost similar to doing mutation drawings because there is no uh, planning at all. It's literally just, let's hope this makes sense to some extent because this is what it's looking like. Thing with mutation is because it's based on organic forms there's something you can use to try and emulate the, the shapes and the feeling of these things whereas with this it's a bit more mechanical so the idea is to just try to 
make things look believable in their own way which is not always the easiest thing to do as you can see here what I'm using is the trick of doing wires in order to cut things off I just don't want to consider the vanishing point of every structure I start so instead I'm going to just overlap one thing after another to try and get away with that because I think it's uh, probably not as important now at some point I'm going to switch to another ink than blue but for now keep going with the blue until a natural end point presents itself I think maybe I need to do something a bit more technical so without knowing what that means I'm just going in drawing something which looks like it could be something technical. I wish I could describe it better but it's literally trying to make something look technical. That's the only thought in my mind and there's no kind of you know like this because I don't know what this is that I'm drawing. So instead I can't tell you anything which this is similar to I can tell you that that's the motivation is make it look mechanical make it look technical and overlap forms so that there is never too many points where it looks like you have shapes that start and end instead it's just a mishmash of everything that continuously gets interrupted because uh, at some point that, that will make sense. What I mean is that if it continuously happens, then it becomes a pattern in itself. You know what I just realised? This is going to be a time lapse, this drawing, and this talking isn't. So I might wrap up the talking at this point. I'm at the blue ink stage, working my way over to the left. What you're seeing is an amazing masterpiece of whatever the hell I've just done on this page. Maybe I might keep it all blue, actually. I don't know. I don't know. I might play around. You'll know. I don't know at this point. <laughs> so, all right. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. This is Inktober 2. That's a point. I've got to put a number 2 on this. Um, yeah. Hope it worked out well. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow for Inktober number 3.